Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one by myself. And welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. So, of course, last time we finished the story. Pretty cool. Lot of twists and turns at the end there. We didn't even know that was the end of the game, but we, we just went straight into it. But of course, since you know how things are done here, we are not done with this game just yet. Quite, quite a few more things to do. Um, I think there's like 20 something more puzzles to find. We've got to finish all the mini games and then all the stuff in the bonuses. So let's begin by going back into the save file and seeing if we can't find the rest of those puzzles. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. Yes, yes. All right. And then, of course, you talk to Katya again, and that will be... go straight back into the ending. But now, we can leave the castle. Mm-hmm. And now we can search all over for whatever we're missing. go so we're at 116 and I think the thing said there's 138 um I guess I guess I have to just look at look at this and see which ones I'm missing so uh, let's see if I can't find that really quickly da 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 did a lot of the early ones, so that's good. Okay, here we go. 65, 67, 69. Okay. All right. So, first off, we're back here at the hotel. It seems like every person is now in a state of uh, wanting tea, so that'll make that easier. But one thing I do know, if we go into the hotel, there was one more camera picture that we couldn't- we didn't take. And that's because it was all the way back here. So of course we, we couldn't do it then. So, we do it now. The last picture, let us finish this. Alright. Let's see here, let's see here, what exactly is a uh, doorknob? Doorknob's different. Me. All right. Piece of cake. Mm-hmm. Then next, second bottle is gone. So there's Consider that. this puzzle solved. All right. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. True. And finally. Finally, finally, the last difference is, um, not seeing anything so far, uh, hmm. Is it that this lamp is off? Is that what it is? And now to test my theory. Wow, okay. That that was a little tricky one, but I, I got it. I got it. Alright. And now for the hidden puzzle. Oh. You've unlocked every mist you solved every mystery related to the camera minigame. Let's go! Layton's challenges the musician's house has been added. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, but let me let me go ahead and find that hidden puzzle. And eh? Um Excuse me? Where's the Where's the hidden puzzle? It it's it is usually like in one of the 
different places, so where... Where is it? Eh? What the hell is this? Oh, that... Oh. This puzzle tried to hide from me, but I found it. I don't know if that's the necessarily the, the puzzle, but... But we found a puzzle. Three houses face a single common field. The heads of these three houses, A, B, and C, decide to work together to seed the field. Unfortunately, C injures himself right before work starts, so A and B do all the work together. To seed the entire field, A works five days and B works four. Feeling guilty, C decides to pay A and B for doing his part of the job. To thank them, C pays them a total of nine coins, divided up according to how much work each person did. Can you figure out how many coins A and B received? Okay. C pays them nine coins, divided up how much work each person did. A works five days and B works four. Is it, is it that, is it that simple? I don't think it's that simple, but I may as well try it. Consider this puzzle solved. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Huh. Each man would do an equal share of the work. When considering your answer, don't factor in the days A and B were supposed to work according to the original agreement. Uh? Coins distributed based on the number of days each person worked to cover the three days C was supposed to have worked. Okay, okay. To seed the entire field. Alright. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. A did two days, B did one. Okay. Okay. Consider this puzzle solved. But of course it's not that simple. So A did two days, B did one, so then nine coins. Hmm. Hmm? Okay, wait, wait. It's nine coins. So, it's six and then three. There we go. Consider this puzzle solved. That one was... Uh, that one didn't feel satisfying, but there, there we go. There we go. All right. It, it, definitely, it definitely was, Luke. Okay, so there's that done. Camera is done. Very nice. Still have to do the rest of them. And I believe the next puzzle that we can get um, is from good old Sammy. Hey there, guys. Getting close to finding what you're looking for? Things are coming along nicely, thank you for asking. Oh, but Sammy, as the conductor, is it all right for you to be away from the train like this? Man, forget that train. Even if I cared, today's supposed to be my day off. Here I am. First I get sent off to the box, and then I'm accused of murder. It's a total drag. Sammy Thunder's no murderer, man. After all that craziness, it's definitely time to chill out with a puzzle. Alright, Sammy's work week. So, let's say today is my day off. If yesterday wasn't also a day off, then I'm off again tomorrow. If, on the other hand, I was off yesterday, then tomorrow I'll have to work. Say I worked today. Bummer. If I didn't work two days before today, I'll have to head to work tomorrow. But if I did work two days ago, I'm off tomorrow. Yow! Assuming a 365-day year and ignoring weekends and holidays, use what Sammy said to figure out how many days he works in a year. Okay. All right. So he works, he's off two days in a row. 
If today is the day off, and if yesterday wasn't a day off, then he's off again tomorrow. If he was off yesterday, then he'll have to work tomorrow. So, he's off two days in a row. Okay. Say, I worked today. Bummer. If I didn't work two days before today, I'll have to head to work tomorrow. But if I did work two days ago, I'm off tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So, he's off two days in a row. Except for here. I worked today. If I didn't work two days before today, I'll have to head to work tomorrow. But if I did work two days ago, I'm off tomorrow. Hmm. This is... Okay. Use what Sammy said to figure out how many days he works in a year. This is hurting my brain. Okay, so he works three days and he's off two. So, I think that's like a third of the of the year or something something along those way those lines like three fifths. Um, I think it's around. 200 something uh 215 uh let's see this should do the trick okay uh, i think something something here 19 this should do the trick Okay. That one, huh. I didn't like that one either. Yeah, two days of rest, three days of work. Three-fifths, 219. Okay. That is a pretty sweet deal. Nice answer, man. So sweet, makes you want to hit a high note. Yo! All right. There is that one, and I think something, something was, was next, like 69, 65? Hello there, sir. How are you? You alright? Good. 65 is here, so I have to find it if it's not from the man um quite a lot of stuff in here though so i don't know how i'm going to find it hmm because i don't i don't have a list of where they are Specifically, they just tell me the area where they are. So I know that there's a puzzle in the antique shop, but it it didn't it didn't tell me where in the antique shop. So and I feel like I've clicked on everything. So where is where is this puzzle? Okay, I've actually done more digging. I have to serve him the tea first and then he'll give me the puzzle. Well, shit. 
Okay, so it looks like I'm finishing the mini games first. Let's go find all those things. Our first stop on completing those, we have to come here to Hopper. And uh, we have another one of these. Disappearing Act 2. One of, one of these. It's a different configuration. You can move any ball as long as it satisfies the conditions. Jump over an adjacent occupied by another ball into an empty space. Alright, you must all rem remove all balls except for one. Here we are. Okay. Yeah, I've already... Oh wait, no, hang on. Alright, I got somewhere... I got somewhere there. So I think that's... Right. Yeah, two is the one who did the first one, so this is not in my ballpark. Uh... Oh wait, there you go. Boom. Okay. This should do the trick. Yeah, those are interesting. I I'd say those are higher up in the puzzle tier list. There you are. Peg Solitaire. I don't like that name. You're pretty good at this. Listen, I hear the prior taxing when it gets close. Yeah. You you sure? I don't know a single person who hasn't made it back there, in, back from there in one piece. So people have gone there and come back. They're all scared, but they're no worse for the wear. Huh. There you go. So I did this one to get a new hamster toy. Um, another light bulb. So there's that. We still have a couple more though. So, let me go get those. Should be one uh, here in the photo studio with Joseph. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Oh, a picture puzzle. A ghostly puzzle, ooh. Yikes, there's a ghost in the forest. Or so you thought, until you realized that the specter hovering in front of you was just a figure cut out of wood hanging from a branch. Looking around the area, you notice four pieces of wood scattered in the grass. Which one of these wooden slabs was the ghost cut out from? Beware, the correct board may have flipped over while lying in the grass. Um... Uh... Oh, okay, okay, hang on here. Uh, well, it's not A, because that's a completely different tale. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's not D. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's between B and C. Um, it might be B. This should do the trick. Hi, ha, 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 hi! There we go. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Perfecto. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I didn't even notice. C had the arms wrong. Oh. All right, but there we are. 
I thought you were going to show us a real ghost. Uh, but there we are. You know what that is? That's the goddamn sandbox that we needed. Now we can actually use that and the pool. But there are still two more ingredients to collect, so let me go get those. Alright, should be this man at the station. Rory. Glitz Glamour Games. Those are the three J's you need to know here in Herald Sense. <laughs> no, you're lying. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, good heavens, why are there so many? Well, I can do something... something like that. And then... something like that. Hang on now. Hang on. I'm cooking. I may be cooking. I have not cooked anymore. I think I think I have, I have now boinked it. Okay, well, hang on. So I can do little schmackerel of these. And then... Oh, that, that one's... no, okay. Uh, this one does seem... like a good challenge, so... Oh, wait, can't... wait, can't game it. Man, man, I, I hate these. These, they seem simple, but they're not simple. Well, shit. Yeah, let's try, let's try, let's try going from, from this angle. Then, then I can do something like that. And then like that. Uh, okay, I got a couple options here. Let's try that. Um... Hmm. Okay, I can do that. That's a something. That's a that's a thing. Hmm. Okay, I, th I think I see it now. I can go there, then there, then yeah. Okay. Hmm. Bagoinki. This should do the trick. All right. There's that. Huh. Wonderful. Wonderful. English and a French board. Hmm. All right, and we got another surprise box. So I think we now have all the um, twos of everything. And I think we just need one more thing. Just one more item for Biggie Cheese. We had to go all the way back here with this man. Mmm, yeah. some garlic, yes, yes. Ha ha. Do I have to give him the tea too? No, I don't. I click there. There's something besides garlic. Mmm, yes, yes, yes. Jars and cans, too. Got some more, some more of these. Alright. 
Rearrange them so that jars and cans are grouped with items of the same type. Always move two at once. Okay. I've basic I've done it. I've done it. I like those. I like those that I can just I can just finagle and I and I get and I do it immediately. Alright. <laughs> it's an excellent answer. And we have the trampoline, which is the not the not the tea set yet, which is the last Amster toy. Actually, I just checked my stuff. No, it's not. I'm lying. There's one more apple. But luckily, the puzzle is literally right outside the shop. So lucky for me. We talked to Marina. Oh, and she's the daughter of a uh, old boy in there. All right, let's see here. Candy for five. You have a box of four different kinds of delectable candy, arranged in no particular order. Your job is to divide these treats into five equal portions. You need to make sure each portion contains the exact same number and variety of snacks. Furthermore, all the sweets in a single portion must be connected to each other vertically or horizontally. Uh? Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Five equal portions. Each portion contains the same number and variety of snacks. Okay. Oh, this 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 seems very very complicated compared to the other ones like these. Um Okay, let's let's go off of of this. Got one circular, one green, one that and two of these. So Right? That, okay. Um... That seems right. And then... Okay, so I've got them into correct portions. Let's see if that's right. Just leave it to me. All right. I don't know what that other bit of the rules were saying. They must cake. be connected vertically. I don't. But there, there we go. That I think that was just trying to throw me off. I don't know. It's all divided up now. Yeah, crunch. These candies taste like rock garlic. Ew. Ew. Alright, but there's the other apple. And now that should be all the toys for biggest cheese. Now all we have to do is actually um get him slim now. Alright, so let me let me do this again. Just, just to see how this goes again. So he goes for the light bulb and goes there. Then he goes to the flower. Then the tree stump. Then the house, then the other house, then the apple. Then the jack in the box. And then I think the jack in the box makes him go all the way over there. Y 
Yes. Okay. So he ends up back here. Trampoline makes the hamster jump forward two spaces, and upon landing, run forward until he hits something. Actually, let me just- let me just do this, let me just do this. Okay, so, Apple. When he comes within three spaces of it, he walks toward it and ignores all other items around him. Okay. So let's do that, and then do that, and then I think I can put a house here. This is going to be complicated. This, this is going to be complicated. But I can hopefully figure it out. Let me, let me see if that, let me see if that does anything. Alright, well, I haven't used everything, but I think this will get me to, to 30 steps. So let's see here. So he goes for the apple first, he always goes for the apples, ignoring everything else. And then here he goes for the stem. And then the flower. And then the jack-in-the-box, which brings him all the way back up there, which then he notices the house, and then he notices the sandbox, which then brings him to the pool, and then he sees that jack-in-the-box, which brings him back up there, and then he notices the light bulb. And there's 32. So, let's see here. Man! Exercise rocks! That's debatable. Cheese will now sniff out hint coins for you. Never miss another coin. Oh, he did what Brian did in the first game. Too bad we already found all of them. Luke has become best buddies with Cheese! And we get the animal lover's house. Nice. But he's now a champster. <laughs> but I feel like, what if we got the maximum amount of steps? Okay, this seems to be, from what I found, the maximum amount you can do. It doesn't use all the, the things, but it uses most of them. So... Let's see, let's see how this works out. So he goes for that apple first, and then that one. And then for the house. And then for the other house. And then for the jack-in-the-box, which brings him back there. So then he goes for the stump. And then he should go for the light bulb, which brings him all the way over there. 
and then he should go for the other light bulb, which brings him there, where he goes for the sand... Actually, no, the trampoline. Wahoo! And then he can't see that jack-in-the-box, so he goes for the flower. And then the pool first, and then the sandbox? Which... Huh. And then the jack-in-the-box, which then brings him to 64. Which seems to be the max. Look at me! I'm fit and sassy! Woohoo! Sassy? Mm. Boy, does he look proud. And, uh, there you are. Doesn't seem to be any... ...thing for doing that, but, uh, there you- there you go. Big cheese... ...is now done. Alright, before we go for... ...the tea... ...let's go finish off the diary, cause there is... ...there is... ...two more entries. The first key we have missed, uh... I have to go back to Dobby. Gregorio. <laughs> weird, weird man, I don't like him. The Knight's Tour 2. Lead the knight on a trip around the board below. Chess knights move two squares forward. Da -da -da -da. Move this knight around the entire board, landing on each square only once. Oh lord, this is going to this is going to take a bit. Oh, good heavens. Oh, maybe? No. I almost had it though, I almost had it. Alright, this one was very boring, so here we are, just at the tail end. This God, that was just... Ugh. That was... Ugh. Ah, wonderful. Well, there we go. Well done. Sorry about that anchoring. The herald runs. It's the hot spot. Balls. We, we know this, we, we know this. Diary key, here we are. I don't know how many days have passed with me waiting to hear back from her. It's been so long, in fact, that even trying to figure out when I sent that letter has become difficult. Maybe she really doesn't love me. Maybe she's living in some other town, happily married to another man. No, brother, no, that's not what happened. And our last key should come from, uh, old girl here. I take it you do want to come inside and look around, hmm? Uh, no, I, I, I... Look at those red little cheeks, but you're shy. No, lady. Do not. Do not. All right. A boy and girl are chatting at a local cafe. Looking up from his coffee, the boy says... You know, I'm 20 now, but back when I was as old as you now, you were half my current age. Neat, huh? As you can see, this boy is the most concise of speakers. Okay, he's 20 now, but back when he was as old as she is now, she was half... his age then. Hang on. Back when I was as old as you are now, you were half my current age. Hang on, am I just reading this wrong? I'm 20 now, 
but back when I was as old as you are now, you were half my current age. So she was 10. Okay, okay, I think, I think I get this. Back then, she was 10. So now, Back when I was as old as you are now, you were half my current age. So now, right now, she's... Wait. No, no, no. Back then, she was 10. So now... Hmm. Back when I was as old as you are now. So when he was 10... No. Oh, this is- this sucks! When he was however old she is, she was ten. How the hell am I supposed to fucking- what the shit? Is she- is she fifteen? Is- is she fifteen? I don't- Just leave it to me! She's fifteen, okay. I- Apprentice strikes again. When the boy was 15, her age was 10. Yeah. Is. Ugh. 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 You. Girl, stop talking to him. Go away. Clever. Me? Go away. Last key. There we go. Let's open that up. In order to deal with the swine who sneak into Fulsense by night like rats and steal our gold, I have decided to quite literally play the part of a monster. Though focused on this, at times my thoughts turn to that gilded box and the letter inside. I now suspect that neither made it to her. Oh, my dear Sophia, just to hear from you is all I desire. Don't worry, bud. You got... You got your wish. Alright, so that makes the diary done, the camera done, and the hamster done. So now, just need to finish the tea, which means I need to get this last ingredient and then serve all the tea to everyone. So let's find that last ingredient. Alright, and the last ingredient is from, uh, her, Lila. Look at you two running around in town like a dog chasing its own tail. Okay, puzzle about dog. Walking the dog. Oh boy. A girl takes her dog out. At first, she carries her dog for 10 seconds, but then her dad steps out. At this point, the girl sets her dog down and keeps walking. The dog immediately runs over to the dad, and upon reaching him, he turns around and runs back to the girl. The dog keeps doing this until the dad catches up with the girl. The dog runs at 5 feet per second. The dad walks at 2 feet per second, and the girl walks at 1 foot per second. How far does the dog run by the time the dad catches up to his daughter? Okay, so, a girl, dad, she's already 10 seconds out, but the dog has not walked. So now, oh man. Okay. So it's 10 seconds in between them right now. Pfft. 
So in one second, the dog goes five feet, the dad goes two feet, and the girl goes one foot. Don't, don't, don't question those. Those are just, this is the dog, this is the girl, this is the dad. So, five, two, one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, for for the dad to catch up to the daughter, right? In 10 seconds, she has walked 10 feet. Right? In 10 seconds, she's walked 10 feet. Because she goes one foot a second. And the dad goes two feet a second. So in five seconds, in five seconds, he'll catch up. So is it 25? This should do the trick. No, it's not. Because it can never be that simple. Oh, I hate word problems. They're the worst. Ah. Okay, wait. It's times... It's times two. It's times two. Because... She she walks more. It's it's times two. It's fifty. This okay. Do the trick. I had it. I just didn't get that other step. Good lord. Ugh. Nice work. And we get the cinder horse, which means we now have all the ingredients. So we can make the rest of the tea. So we've already made the Bell Classic, the Oasis Berry, the Cherry Boost, and the Dream Spice. So... Three, four, six. Let us make the new ones. You take the Oasis Leaf, the Bell Tart Seed, and the Cinder Horse, and we get... What an interesting blend of fruitiness and subtle smokiness. The sugar smoke. I've heard you can use the tea leaves from this blend to predict your love life. I'm impressed, Luke. That's the first I've heard on that subject. Have you been studying up on tea? But of course, Professor. I couldn't rightly call myself your apprentice if I didn't. Good on you, Luke. The oasis leaf, the joy root clover, and the tonic flower make... The Root Remedy. This tea seems like just the thing for driving away the chills when you feel a cold coming on. Maybe so, Professor, but it's a little bitter for my tastes. That's how you know it works, my boy. The Japanese say that good medicine is better to the taste. Oh, I think you might be onto something yet, Professor. I feel all warm inside now. The Brisk Berry, the Bell Tart Seed, and the Tonic Flower make... The bitter fruit. Oh, this is simply exquisite. There's a depth of flavor here I haven't found in many other teas. Really? Gosh, maybe my tongue's just broken or something. I didn't really see stars or anything. Ah, ah, you may be a bit young for this one. It's what some might call a tea for the experienced palate. Well, I don't know about that. As far as I'm concerned, it's too bitter to be tasty. True. I don't like bitter. I don't think many people like bitter. The brisk berry, the jaw root clover, and the cinder horse make. The clover quencher. Impressive. One sip and I feel rejuvenated. It's smoky, yet it has a wonderful sweetness to it. This is a whole new flavor to me, Professor. I've never tried anything quite like it. 
It's interesting, and I'm sure it's good for when you've worked up a thirst, but it's not quite my taste. Really? Well, I for one think it's rather tasty. Alright. The Bell Tart Seed and Dream Fluff and Joy Root Clover make... The Radiance Blend. Now this smells nice. Indeed, there's something about the aroma of this tea that's quite soothing. You hit that one on the head, Professor. I think it's making me sleepy. <clears throat> I suppose that's further proof of its relaxing effect. It does seem... <sighs> rather potent, eh? Dang. The Dream Fluff, the Joy Root Clover, and the Pepper Cherry make... Cayenne Twilight. Ah, uh, just take in that aroma. It's incredibly relaxing. Kinda makes you forget all your troubles for a minute, eh, Professor? I must confess, this is rather nice. It's like the tea drove all the weariness from me. Wow, all that with just a couple of sips? The good a cup of herb tea can do never fails to amaze me. The Dream Fluff, Tonic Flower, and Cinder Horse make... The cinder flower. Um, what's this flavor? It's a bit odd. It certainly has a distinct taste, but you know, Luke, the more I drink of it, the more I like it. If you're that fond of it, you're more than welcome to the cup I've been drinking. Sorry to hear that cinder flower isn't your cup of tea, Luke. <laughs> and finally, joy root clover, pepper cherry, and cinder horse make. Dun -dun. The Leighton Elixir. Wow, this tea is out of this world! I agree, Luke, but I do have to wonder how common ingredients can make something like this. Beats me, Professor. The world's just full of mysteries like that, I suppose. Aptly put, my boy. Well, consider me mystified. And there we have it. We now have all the types of tea. So now... We done just gotta go serve to everybody to a to a whole a whole lot of people so let me just go start from here since i'm closest to here and i know there is one man right over here you shades man what do you want of course i got to keep reloading just to get him to become Become thirsty. Sir, have some tea. It will be nice. There it is. My eyes are strained. I need to relax. Give me some tea and make sure it's got a spicy kick. Spicy and earthly. That'll help me relax. Unwinding, spicy. So it should be the Cayenne Twilight. Now that's good tea. A smile spreads across Ray's face. Oh, that's one spicy finish. I like, I like. And you know, I think my eyes do feel better. Thanks for the tea. Really helped me out. Huh. Ah, not again. What's the matter now, sir? I can still see that stupid fog. Maybe the air in full sense is just really polluted. Yeah, I, um, I, I think you're bang on the money right there. All right. Um, does old boy up here want some tea? Maybe. All righty. This is Jeff. Oh, dang, there's an emergency. We're all in big trouble now. It's my tea. It's not sweet at all. How's a man supposed to find vampires on sweet tea? Ow! Alright. How will I quench my thirst mid-combat? Hmm? Exactly what kind of tea would allow you to continue your fight? It's a secret monster fight and recipe handed down from my great-great-granddaddy. It's got joy root clover and a little something else that makes it smoky and thirst obliterating. 
I think we know that one. Smoky and thirst obliterating. You want the clover quencher. There we are. Ready to kick some vampire rump. Oh yes, now that hits the spot. Gotta hand it to you, you really came through for me here. And a great thing for the folks of this town, who remain safe thanks to my protection. Uh, uh, Alright. You can't underestimate vampires, the cunning creatures. Just when you think you've spotted one, kazam! He vanishes on you. Uh, okay, okay, old boy. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I wanted to see what this guy's name was to see if he wanted tea, but he gave me a puzzle. Okay, Olsen. Disappearing Act 4. Oh, God damn it. All right. I have managed to do it. Consider this puzzle solved. Here we are. Huh. Little excursion. Wonderful. Let's go back to T now. <laughs> Olsen. So he doesn't want any, but Marina does. How did that recipe go again? Help a cold. A clover, some kind of leaf. All right. Clover leaf works on colds. I believe it's the cinder flower. No, it's not. Okay. At the start of a cult, here it is. Okay, it's gotta be Root Remedy. And there we are. Thanks, mister. This tea is great. Makes my tummy feel all warm inside. There you are. Alright, who's up next? Looks like her dad wants some. Well, that's one spectacular tea set you've got there. You could brew a mean sugar smoked tea in there. Alright, well now he's literally telling us which one he wants. Alright, here you go. Sugar smoke. Boom. Now that's the ticket. That's nice tea. Drinking it out of a nice porcelain cup like this makes it all the tastier. You love garlic? Check this baby out. I've been holding onto him for ten years. Ooh, yuck. Disgusting. Alright, well I've just checked the recording. And we have served seven people, and we're already at an hour. And we haven't even done the rest of the puzzles yet, so... I think I am going to cut this cleanup into two and end it right here. We did do a good amount. We got, you know, a lot more puzzles done. We finished off three of the mini games, So I think that's good progress. Should only be one more before we're fully cleaned up in the main game. But it will do that next time. I've been player one. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye.